My name is Julian Crouch. I'm a co-director and co-designer of The Adams Family with Fanny McDermott. The challenge of the costumes with The Adams Family is everyone knows what Morticia looks like and everyone knows what Gomez looks like, everyone knows what Uncle Fester looks like. And so somehow there they think the trick is how do you make those costumes interesting and vibrant and but they don't look like they've been bought off the shelf of a fancy dress place. Generally, they're dressed in black. I mean, that's a slight simplification, but generally they're dressed in black. And I was thinking, well, maybe what if I didn't allow myself really to use pure black, but I used all the shades around black? So, you know, the darkest aubergine or the darkest green, or the darkest brown. So I played a little game where I banned the use of black, but but I'm still making costumes that, you know, to the to the untrained eye in a way, people will say, yeah, the costumes were black, but I'm trying to find texture and trying to make those two-dimensional characters become three-dimensional on the stage. Everyone knows what Matisha dress looks like. It goes down to nothing at the ankles, but, you know, Bibi Newth is in that dress, and Bibi has to dance. It's crazy for her not to dance. And so so you then run into sort of technical things to how do you make her look fantastic but allow her to dance at the right moment. And... Um, and I have to say, I'm more. I'm actually far more experienced a set designer than I am a costume designer. And and and, but and I, I probably enjoyed the costumes more more than anything. You know, it's um, it was it actually was really fun. They are actually a very beautiful family. The the way they interact is very beautiful, although unusual. In some ways, they're more of a proper family than the ordinary family that comes and visits them. That um. So I think there was something similar anyway. There's, a, there's, there's something that relates that aim to to make people laugh, uh, to to do something that's tongue in cheek horror, but also to make it you know a very a, something that's very beautiful to look at.